Okay, hello and konnichiwa, and thank you for your interest in Toyo University. Today, we are going to talk about Toyo University's study abroad program. We'll start with some general information about Toyo. Um, if you're interested in Toyo, I'm guessing you probably already know this, but we are located in central Tokyo. And pretty much everything that you've heard or imagined about Tokyo is true. It's one of the most amazing cities on the planet, and it's a fantastic place to spend a semester or better yet, two semesters. Um, the architecture, the culture, the people, the art, the food, um, there's so much here. Um, you could spend years here and not even experience everything, but to stay here for a semester or two, can give you a really good taste of what the city has to offer. Um, Toyo University is in central Tokyo. You can see it here on the map, um, very, uh, very much in the middle of the city. Uh, something that you might not know is that Toyo, Tokyo, <laughs> Tokyo was named the number one safest city on the planet um, by the Economist Intelligence Unit. It's actually the third year in a row that we've attained that achievement. And you can really feel safe when you're in, uh, in Tokyo. So the great thing about Toyo University is that it's, you, you kind of experience every different part of the city. So the top picture on this slide, um, if you're not familiar, this is a place called Shinjuku. It's, it's very much central Tokyo. And it's what I would always imagine when I picture Tokyo, just the lights, the tall buildings, uh, the chaos, the people. And if you want to experience that, then it's very easy to find that um, relatively close to campus, just a few stops, um, stops on the subway away from these, uh, these iconic places, uh, Shinjuku, as I said, uh, Shibuya, Akihabara, Ikebukuro. And so if you want to experience that side of Tokyo, it's right there. But what's really great about Toyo is that it's not all the noise and the chaos. Um, the campus itself is in a very kind of quiet part of town. It's, it's like this little hub of peace and tranquility. Um, the area that we're located in is a place called Bunkyoku. And it's very famous within uh, Japan and Tokyo for being kind of like a center of education and culture. Um, right near campus and all around the area, there are loads of old uh, temples, shrines, uh, parks that are just there. So you'll be right in the middle of this very, very busy area. But if you want some peace some quiet, you want the, uh, the more traditional and tranquil side of Tokyo, uh, it's right there. So a little bit about our history. Uh, we were founded in 1887 by the gentleman in the picture, Dr. Enrio Inoue. Um, Toyo University is one of the oldest private universities in Japan. Uh, we were originally founded as the Private Academy of Philosophy. And you can see some of the, uh, some of the kind of the dictates of our founder right there, the basis of all learning lies in philosophy integrating knowledge and virtue, independence and self-initiative, these kinds of mantras, uh, these kinds of truths um, still very much permeate the university. Um, one thing that we're especially proud about, about Toyo University is that we've always been ahead of the curve in terms of the democratization of education. Uh, you can see on the slide that, um, you know, very shortly after our founding, we became pioneers in distance education. You know, at this time in Japanese history, um, education was pretty much only available to the elite classes. But uh, Dr. Enrio Inoue felt that education should be accessible to all. And so um, he made lecture notes available to people who were not able to attend in person. Uh, you can also see here that in 1916, more than 100 years ago, we became the first private university in Japan to open our doors to women. So um, we are always about making education um, accessible to as many people as possible. Okay, some basic information about our university. Now, as I mentioned, we were founded in 1887. Um, 
we have 13 faculties and 46 departments, and that's spread across uh, five different campuses um, in Tokyo and in the surrounding area. Divided among those campuses, we have 31,000 students. Um, most of those are undergraduate, but that also includes graduate. Um, every year we have more than 110,000 applicants to the university. And that's noteworthy mainly because, uh, as you may know, the population in Japan is actually declining. And so a lot of universities are uh, kind of struggling to attract enough students to um, fill out the seats. but at Toyo University, we're actually getting an increasing number of students interested in studying here every year. So we feel pretty good about that. And then down at the bottom, uh, 300 plus student clubs. And it pretty much runs the gamut. If you're interested in sports, culture, uh, manga, anime, volunteering, um, just a tea ceremony, traditional Japanese culture, whatever. Um, chances are there is a student club that's there for you. And these are a great way to make friends. It's a super way to improve your Japanese skills. So uh, when you come and study here, we strongly recommend that you find a club or circle to uh, get involved in. Okay, a couple of projects that we're really excited about here. Um, we were chosen by the MEXT, which is uh, Japan's Ministry of Education, as one of just 37 universities across the country to qualify for the top global university project. Now, what this means for you is that we are a much more international university. Um, using the grants that we have, we're able to offer a lot more um, internationalized education. Uh, we have a lot more professors that have received an education abroad or come from other countries themselves. Uh, we're able to offer far more classes in languages other than Japanese. Um, and we have a much more internationally active student body. Uh, more and more of our students have done study abroad programs and come back to share their experiences. So it's a very vibrant and globalized campus. Uh, we were also the only university in the Kanto region to be selected for the employment promotion program, um, also by the Ministry of Education. And so this enables us to offer internship programs uh, for students in Japan and also uh, offer, in addition to our regular course offerings, um, courses in business Japanese. So let's talk very briefly about the campus locations and facilities. Um, as I mentioned, we have five main campuses um, and a couple of other facilities um, located mainly in Tokyo, but also the surrounding areas like uh, Saitama and then Guma. As a study abroad student at Toyo, um, you'll be located in our central campus of Haksan. And you can see down here in the corner, um, again, you can kind of see this ring here, the Yamanote line, a very famous train line that covers a lot of the iconic spots in Tokyo. Uh, we're pretty much right in the middle of that. So as I mentioned before, um, you can experience the, the bright lights in the big city of Tokyo, but then you know, if you want some peace and quiet, um, it's also very, very easy to find at Hakusan. All right, uh, the Hakusan campus is the home to the faculties of letters, economics, business administration, law, sociology, global and regional studies, and international tourism management. Now, as a study abroad student here, you are free to take courses in any of those faculties. Um, this being a Japanese university, um, you can not be surprised that most of the coursework is in Japanese, but in each of the faculties, there are um, several courses, an increasing number of courses, that are also taught in English. And so regardless of your major, regardless of your faculty, um, you're welcome to take um, courses in English in all of these um, faculties. Okay, just some other pictures of the campus to kind of give you a sense of what it looks like. Um, again, we're very much in central Tokyo, but you can see that it's relatively spacious. Um, Somehow the sky is always blue at Toyo. I don't know how we managed to do that, but we managed to do that. Um, 
very nice campus, good buildings. And there's the, uh, the bird's eye view of the main buildings. So, you know, right there in the middle of the city, but again, the campus itself is fairly quiet, fairly peaceful, and it's a really, really good place to study. Um, our cafeteria is famous throughout the country for the 500 yen lunch. So you can see some of the offerings there. You can get, of course, Japanese food, Chinese, Korean, uh, Turkish, um, very, very affordable, very, very good. I eat there often myself. So let's talk a bit about the courses. Okay. Um, if you are interested in coming to Toyo University, I'm guessing you're probably interested in the Japanese language. Um, the main thing that a lot of our students take is Japanese language and culture courses. We have a program called NEST, uh, N-E-S-T, which stands for Nihongo or Japanese, for exchange students at Toyo. And these are some of the NEST students uh, proudly showing off some of their favorite kanji words that they created in class or uh, painted in class. If you are coming in as a total beginner, that's completely fine. Um, we can start you off in Japanese for beginners theory and practice. Um, if you study Japanese before, that's fine as well. Um, including the beginner level, we have four different levels of Japanese and you can take a variety of different courses within this program. Um, it really kind of depends on what your interests are, um, what you want to focus on. If you want to study only Japanese, um, that's fine. But a lot of students end up kind of combining their Japanese coursework with courses also taught in English. Um, it really depends on what you're interested in. Okay, so again, as I mentioned before, uh, these are the seven faculties here at Hakusan main campus. And most of the coursework is taught in Japanese. If your Japanese is at the N1 or N2 level on the JLPT, that stands for Japan Language Proficiency, Japanese Language Proficiency Test. If you've got an N1 or N2 on that test, then you are eligible to take your courses in Japanese. Um, if not, then you can still take courses uh, taught in English. Again, from a lot of different faculties. Uh, it really kind of depends on your interests. It depends on your home university requirements. Uh, you can see here a couple of links that um, you can click on to get more information about the courses that are available for uh, study abroad students. And you can also check the other link to take a look at the syllabi to find out um, a bit more about those courses in detail. The academic calendar. Um, as you may know, the academic year in Japan begins in April. So our spring semester begins in early April and goes until early August. Uh, the fall semester um, begins in kind of like mid-September and runs until the end of January. So as a study abroad student, you are free to start your studies during spring semester or fall semester, it's up to you. And again, you can study here for one semester or two semesters. So pretty flexible, whatever works for you. Support for international students and other services. Okay, um, you can see a couple of the activities that study abroad students do. Up in the top left corner, we've got kind of like a kimono wearing experience. Uh, down beneath that, you've got a, uh, a study abroad student playing the taiko drums as part of a kind of uh, kind of like a at the end of a homestay program, there's a cultural party. Uh, here in the middle, students could join the uh, Toyo Sumo Wrestling Club uh, for a workout and dinner afterwards. Um, don't worry, you don't have to wear the uh, sumo outfits. Or maybe I should say don't get excited. You can't wear the sumo outfits, but you can work out with them and it's pretty cool. Um, up at the top right, there is the famed Japanese tea ceremony. There's a club that does that on campus. And then just beneath that is one of our Japanese professors from the NEST program that I was talking about before, um, got married and then was photobombed by one of the students in the middle there. 
Let's talk about housing a little bit. Um, right now we have two dormitories available to study abroad students, um, and there will be more in the future, okay? So the first one is the International House or the I House, which as you can see from the slide is a 15 minute walk from campus. So very, very conveniently located. Um, all of the units are fully furnished. So you got bedroom, uh, desk, um, kitchen table, chairs, uh, um, washing machine. You can share a bedroom or you can have your own um, and the price varies you know, based on what, what kind of room that you get. But, you know, the, the whole unit itself is very safe. It's very secure, um, quite affordable, very comfortable. Uh, again, a great location, um, relatively close to campus. Um, we also have something called the Kitazono Women's Student Dormitory. Um, and as you can glean from the name, it's uh, for female students only. Um, also, um, fully furnished, also affordable and comfortable. Um, unlike the I House, uh, the Kitazono Women's Student Dormitory has a cafeteria. So if you are not much of a cook, um, don't worry about it. You can get your meals there at the cafeteria. And all the rooms at Kitazono are single, um, single rooms for students. So um, if you like having your privacy, having your own space, then Kitazono is a good choice. Um, every year we have homestay programs uh, in a couple of different parts of the country. Um, so you can stay for a night or a weekend with a Japanese family and just kind of see a different side of uh, Japanese life. And again, like Tokyo is a great city, but a lot of the students really enjoy the opportunity to go out to the countryside and experience life um, you know, in a different part of the country. Um, a very popular pastime in Japan is standing around in mud. I'm just kidding. This is a uh, rice planting activity. Um, again, you can go out to the countryside and work with local farmers uh, planting rice during the time of year when that goes on. Really fun. Language exchange partners. This is a great program. Um, we will link you up with uh, regular Toyo students who will help you improve your Japanese and just kind of learn about campus life and life in the city in general. Um, great place to make friends and just kind of like really broaden your experience at Toyo University. Um, another space that we really enjoy is the English Community Zone. You know, everybody wants to improve their Japanese when they come to Japan, but sometimes you might need a little break. So uh, the English Community Zone is a space that's created for Japanese students to practice their English. And it's a very popular hangout among international students as well. Um, every semester we hire uh, both Toyo students and international students to work part-time at the English Community Zone or ECZ. So um, if you are looking for part-time work, that could be an opportunity as well. So for more information about everything that we just talked about, um, here's a couple of links for our homepage, uh, the Study Abroad homepage. And you know, there's a couple of videos on YouTube that were created by past study abroad students that um, I, I really, really recommend. I mean, I, you know, you can check the website, you can, you can get the information, but when you see these videos, um, again, through the eyes of the students who experience the program, it really gives you a, a better sense of like what kind of experience um, awaits you here at Toyo University. Um, as always, if you have any questions at all about the program, any aspect of it, uh, please send us a, a message at M-L-I-E-S, um, that stands for Male International English, like exchange students at toyo.jp, and we'll get right back to you. So thank you very much for joining us today. Um, we're glad that you're interested in Toyo University, and we hope to be welcoming you, welcoming you to our campus uh, very soon. So thank you very much.